What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show today. This time, it's a three-game set against the Baltimore Orioles. And here we go. All right, bottom of the first, runner on first, and one away. I'm standing in for the first time. Eight-game hitting streak on the line. Hitting 261 now for this season. Tyler Glasnow on the mound for Baltimore. He's got a 100 mile an hour four seamer, 92 on a slider, 90 on a circle change as well. First pitch is off the plate away with a four seamer. One and oh the count after watching that one. And before the second pitch, he checks on the runner at first. He has to get dirty, but he's back in safely. And yeah, all right, the one oh pitch, no. Still not going to happen. He checks the runner again at first. Maybe we'll get a pitch this time around. The 1 0 count going on here. And a foul off a of four seamer above the zone. Dang it. 1 and 1 the count. Come on, big fella. Give me a good one here. Mmm. Slider below the knees there. Got me to go fishing. 1 and 2 the count after that swing and a miss there. Just a little late on the swing, but not much. I don't know. Next pitch is a circle change below the knees. We watched that one, though, so two and two the count now. Oh, got me to go after the four-seamer there just above the zone. And there's a strikeout. Not the way we wanted that to go. Coming back, top of the second. Cardinals are up three to nothing here. Uh, Brent Rooker is at the plate for Baltimore. He's hitting 240 on the season with a runner on first and one away. The one-two pitch from Pablo Gonzalez is a ground ball to the left side. Shortstop gets a glove on that throw to me. His second relay to first in time despite taking the tumble there at second. So yeah, 6-4-3 double play retires the side there. All right, bottom of the second. I'm back to the plate again with a runner on first and two away this time. It's a 4 nothing ball game, and I'm going to have a boss challenge here against Tyler Glass now. And, uh, yeah, let's just advance the runner. What the heck? All right, here we go. First pitch is not happening as he checks on the runner at first again. All right, maybe now the first pitch of the at-bat. Yep, here we go. Swing and a miss, a slider at the knees. Holy mackerel. It's a good location for it, though. Oh, one count now. Next pitch is a four-seamer below the knees. We watched that one, though. One and one the count now. Come on, big fella. Give me a good one. That's not a good one. Four-seamer way above the zone there. Wisely laid off this time around. Two and one the count. And we lace one into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. So dynamic challenge is successful. I like it. Top of the third now. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for Joseph Ortiz. He's hitting a lowly 1-0-3 on the season. Holy cow. He's got an 0-1 count here against starter Pablo Gonzalez. Here's the windup and the pitch. And it's a ground ball to the left side. Six, four, and three. We get the double play again to put two outs on the board. There is still the runner at third, but we do have two away now. Top of the fourth, a runner on first and second, one away for Jordan Westberg. He's 0 for 1 on the day, has a 1 and 1 count in this at bat. Let's see if we get another double play. Flip to the shortstop, covering relay to first is not going to be in time. He beats it out on the back end, so fielder's choice with the out at second. Two away now, and runners on the corners. Bottom of the fifth, I'm standing in for the third time today. I'm one for two so far. It's still a four nothing ball game. Cade Povich on the mound for Baltimore now. Can't see the speed of his four seamer. I think it says 95. Uh, his cutter hits 91 looks like. Yeah, I can barely see that there. Holy cow. First pitch from him. He's ripped into center field there. Center fielder barely has to move. One pitch, one fly ball, one out. So, yeah, not the best at-bat on the planet, but two away with nobody on. 
Top of the sixth, we come back. St. Louis is up 5 to nothing now, and Cedric Mullins at the plate for the third time today. He's 0 for 2 with an 0 and 2 count here. Nobody out, and bases are empty. And he bunts one down the first baseline. Yeah, first baseman takes that to the bag himself, and that is the first out in the top of the sixth. Next batter is Colton Kowser. He's 0 for 2 as well. Pair of strikeouts on his line score so far. One out, nobody on. And uh, the 0 1 pitch from Pablo Gonzalez here. Well, he doesn't strike out. He gets it into play. Yeah, but it's going to be a ground out to second. Two away now in the top of the sixth. Top of the seventh. It's a six to nothing ball game. Gunnar Henderson at the plate for Baltimore. He's 1 for 1 on the day. He's got a two and two count here with the bases empty and nobody out. There's the pitch from Pablo Gonzalez. It's another ground ball. These are easy. Throw to first and plenty of time. One away now in the top of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh. We're just after the seventh inning stretch here. Got a belly full of Cracker Jack and I'm up to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. One for three days so far for me. Cade Povich still on the mound for Baltimore now in relief. And I went fishing after that uh, four-seamer there, well above the zone. Late swing to boot. How I got a piece of that and fouled it off, I'll never know. The 0-1 pitch, though, sent right back up the middle, and there's another base hit for me. I will take that. That makes for, what, two for four day for me so far? All right. Seven to nothing now on the top of the eighth. Cardinals still in the lead. Two away and nobody on for Joseph Ortiz. He's 0 for 2 on the day, has an 0 and 1 count in this at bat. And another routine ground ball here. Take it on the short hop. Throw to first in plenty of time. And the top of the eighth is now over. We're moving on, still leading 7 to nothing. Top of the ninth, it is 8 to nothing now. Cedric Mullins at the play for Baltimore yet again. He's 0 for 3 on the day, has a 1 and 2 count with nobody out and nobody on. Here's pitch number 80 of the game from starter Pablo Gonzalez. And ground ball there is going to make for an easy play for the first out. And Gonzalez is through eight and a third here. Still rocking the shutout. The Cardinals end up taking the win in the first game. Final score, eight to nothing. Really not much of a shocker there that we won. So let's move on to game number two, see if we can keep that up. <clears throat> And uh, while game two is loading in, I'd like to remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. You can also like and comment on this video. All of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. All right, we got Michael McGreevy starting things off on the mound for the Cardinals here. Top of the first, nobody out, nobody on. Cedric Mullins at the plate, hitting 273 on the season. Got a one and two count here in this at bat though. Here's the pitch from McGreevy. And he pops one up. We'll take that just barely into the infield grass. Easy play, one away now in the top of the first. <clears throat> Bottom of the first, two out, nobody on. I'm batting third in the order today. Not a shocker, I've been doing that all season now. Hitting 268 coming into this one. Baltimore's up one to nothing now. Two away, nobody on. Martin Valenzuela on the mound for Baltimore. He's got a 98 mile an hour four seamer. Nothing else quick. First pitch from the right hander. Oh, got me to go after a four seamer up and in. Owen won the count after not making contact there. Next pitch. Shows me an off speed, but I send that to the shortstop. He'll get it across the first in plenty of time. And just like that, one inning down. Orioles are leading one to nothing here. Bottom of the third, I'm back up to the plate. Cardinals on top, 3-1 to one right now. Runner on first, nobody out. And I'm 0-1 uh, after my ground out there to short. Let's see what I can do against Martin Valenzuela this time around. First pitch is a slider up and away. 1-0 the count after watching that one go by. I'm only a 231 career hitter against Baltimore. I think we're doing a little better than that in this series, but... The next pitch is a four-seamer also off the outside corner. 2-0 and the count. Come on, big guy. Give me a good one to hit. Nah, he's going to check on the runner at first before the third pitch of the at-bat. He gets back in safely, so here we are. 2-0 and count. Let's go, big guy. Give me a good one. 
Ah, oh, four seamer off the inside corner got me to swing at that one. So two and one the count. Come on, big guy. One good pitch. That was it right there. Four seamer there, late swing, fouled away. Two and two the count. All right. Next pitch from Valenzuela. Got me. Four seamer above the knees. <clears throat> late swing and another strikeout for me. Top of the fourth, we come back to with Ramon Urias at the plate. He's one for one on the day. Nobody out, nobody on. <clears throat> oh, and two the count for him. And he sends a ground ball up the middle. We'll get that to first in plenty of time. One away now in the top of the fourth. Top of the fifth, Cardinals still leading four to one here. Gunnar Henderson at the plate. He's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts so far. He's got a two and two count with runners on second and third and two away. We're looking for a ground ball out here. A two two pitch from McGreevy is a ground ball. Slow roller, we're gonna have to hurry here. We got him at first though, so no run scored. And top of the fifth is now over. Bottom of the fifth, one out, nobody on. I'm standing in for the third time today. I'm 0 for two so far. First pitch here from Martin Valenzuela. Gosh, had me swinging feebly at that curveball. No chance of making contact there. So we have an 0-1 count after that horrible swing and a miss. Next pitch was a four-seamer on the inside corner. Fouled off down the first baseline. And we've got an 0-2 count in a hurry here. Yeah, that's uh, not pretty. The two-strike pitch. Chopper gone foul. Yep, down the third baseline there. 0-2, oh still the count here. The next pitch from Valenzuela. Got me fishing on the slider low and away. So a strikeout is on my line score again. All right, bottom of the eighth. It's a 4-3 ball game. Cardinals in the lead still. One out, nobody on. I am 0 for 3 standing in. Nine game hit streak on the line here. Mason Miller is now on the mound for the Orioles in relief. And he got me to swing at a curveball in the dirt. Holy mackerel. Uh, Mason Miller does have a 97 mile an hour four seamer, 94 in the two seamer, nothing else quick. Next pitch from him. Wow, right on the outside corner with that changeup. 39,658 in attendance here today. The 1 1 pitch now. And there's a four seamer on the inner third. Fouled it away, one and two the count. Come on, big fella, give me a good one here. Got me to swing through a slider, low and away, but in the zone. So it's yet another strikeout for me. Ugh, not a good time. Top of the ninth, we're tied to four now. Jackson Holiday is at the plate for Baltimore. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Has an 0 and 2 count here with one out and nobody on. So the two strike pitch from reliever Michael King turns into a ground ball to the right side. We're going to get a glove on that. Throw to first in plenty of time. Two away now in the top of the ninth. Top of the 10th now, still tied to four. Tyler Stevenson at the plate now. He's 0 for 4 on the day. Runners on first and second and two away. One and two count in this at bat. And that's going to be an easy ground ball. Throw to first. He's going to retire the side. We're moving to the bottom of the 10th. See if we can walk it off here. Uh, speaking of bottom of the 10th, I'm standing in for the fifth time today. Hopefully going to break that over on the day and continue the hit streak here. Runner on second, nobody out. Drive in the winning run is the only dynamic challenge offered. Okay, Mason Miller still on the mound for the Orioles. Here we go, first pitch of the at-bat. Oh, change up there, had me out in front a little bit too far. Owen oh, won the count after fouling that one away. Next pitch from Miller. He's sent out to deep center field. Oh no, that got down. Oh my gosh, there's a base hit. And the runner from second scores. It's a walk-off single. How about that? I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. <laughs> All right, so Cardinals win game number two. Five to four, the final score in 10 innings. We're moving on to game number three. Let's see if uh, we can keep going. I like this so far. All righty. Top of the first, two away and runner on first for Ramon Urias. He's hitting 284 on the season, has a 10 game hit streak just like me. But he's got a 1 1 count here in this at bat against starter JT Ginn. There's the wind up and the pitch. And 
Simple ground ball here. We'll go to first for the easy out. And that retires the side here in the top of the first. We're moving on to the bottom half. Still scoreless. Bottom of the first, runner on first. Nobody out. It's a 1-0 ball game already. Cardinals in the lead. I'm hitting 266 here in the number three spot in the order. Uh, D.L. Hall is on the mound for Baltimore here. He's got a 98 mile an hour four seamer 90 on his slider as well. But that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch is way inside. Circle change there just about got me on the shoot tops. So we have a 1 0 count after watching that one go by. Next pitch from the left handed Hall here. Ripped into right center field. That's going to be a double. You betcha. One hops the wall. Easy stand up. Double. Throw gets away. Coming in from the outfielders. And the runner from first scores. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. And I'm standing on second. There's still nobody out. Bottom of the second. It's a 4-1 to one ball game now. Cardinals in the lead. Runner on second and two away. I'm standing in hitting 271 on the season. Already one for one today with that RBI double. And let's just try to drive in a run. Why not? D.L. Hall still on the bump for Baltimore here. First pitch of this at bat. Oh, got me to swing at a four-seamer way inside. That's not a good one. Oh, and won the count now after that swing and a miss. Next pitch is a circle change low and away. Easy take for a ball there. One and one the count. Let's see what we get here with pitch number three of the at-bat. Oh, got me with the curveball. Well below the knees, but I swung at it anyway. One and two the count. And I already got my base hit to extend the hit streak, so that's a perk. Four seamer way outside there makes the count back to even. Two and two the count now. Next pitch from Hall. Inside and low with the slider. We have a full count here. Come on, big guy. Give me a good one. That was a four-seamer in the zone there. Late swing and fouled away. Payoff pitch is going to have to happen again here. Pitch number seven of the at-bat here. A little blooper over the first baseman's head there. And uh, that's going to score the runner from second. An RBI single here. I like it. Five to one score now. Two away here in the bottom of the second. Six to one the score now. Top of the fourth. Nobody out. Nobody on for Jackson Holiday. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Has a 1 and 1 count here in this at bat. Here's the wind up and the pitch from JT Ginn. And it's another ground ball. We'll throw to first. Easy play. One away here in the top of the fourth. 6-2 to two the score now. Still top of the fourth. <clears throat> two outs. Runner on second. Taron Vavra at the plate for Baltimore. He's 0-for-1 on the day. Has a 2-2 two two count here in this at-bat. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's going to be an easy out at first. Yep, there you have it. Top of the fourth is over. We're moving to the bottom half. Still leading 6-2. to two. Two away and nobody on here, bottom of the fourth. I'm standing in for the third time today. And uh, let's see what I can do against D.L. Hall this time around. I've had some pretty good luck against him so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, curveball. Good pitch. I thought that was going to be a heater up and away. Nope, it hooked in for the strike. Next pitch is a slider in the top of the zone on the inner corner. 0-2 the count after fouling that one away. The two-strike pitch. Got me with the heater. Couldn't catch up to that one. Swing and a miss makes for a strikeout. Three pitches. That's all it takes to get that K. Top of the six. Still a six to two ball game. Trey Mancini at the plate. He's two for two on the day. Has 0 and one count in this at bat. One out. Nobody on for him here. And here's the pitch. Ground ball right side, easy play there. That'll be the second out here in the top of the sixth inning. All right, bottom of the seventh. Nobody out, nobody on. Belly full of Cracker Jack, here we go. I'm standing up to the plate for the fourth time today. Two for three so far. And Kyle Bradish on the mound now for Baltimore in relief. He's got a 98 mile an hour four seamer. 90 on the circle change, 98 on his two seamer as well. First pitch from him. Inside with the four seamer, one and oh the count. 
Come on, big fella. Hit me with that 12-6 curve so I can put it in the cheap seats. Not a 12-6 curve. Four-seamer off the inside corner popped up. Second baseman going to make the play on the infield grass. And that is a quick first out here in the bottom of the seventh. Top of the eighth. Runner on first and nobody out for Brent Rooker. He's two for three on the day. He's got a home run and a single on his line score. He's got a one and two count here with that runner on first. And here's the pitch from Dwayne Underwood Jr. Ground ball right side. We'll throw to second. Get the out there. Relay to first. In time. Four, six, three. The double play for those of you keeping track at home. All right. Bottom of the eighth. It's a seven to two ball game. Bases are loaded and two away. Kyle Bradish still on the mound for Baltimore here. See what I can do against him in this at bat. First pitch here with the bags loaded. Ripped into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Oh, he misplays it out there, too. That's going to score a pair. Two RBI singles there. We are up 9 to 2 now with runners on the corners in the bottom of the eighth. Cardinals complete the sweep here in game number three. Final score 10 to 2. Definitely not going to complain about that. We really kind of needed it. We've had a couple of rough series here. So, yeah, but since this one is over, that means the episode's also going to be over. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.